Hey everybody, it's Dave again, yard sale picker, aka pirate picker to my friends. Today is Saturday, June 2nd, 2012. We went out yard sailing yesterday for a couple hours. We didn't get out at all today because of the rain and uh, all weekend long as usual. But uh, we managed to get to a community sale that had about 20 sales going on and uh, we were there pretty early we were one of the first few there and we did pretty good we spent $57 for this stuff and believe it or not um, I calculate from my estimated evaluation that we're gonna do somewhere in the seven to eight hundred dollar range so for $57, we're going to make about at least $700. And here, our best find were eight sterling silver Gorham, circa 1908, dated spoons with a weight of 4.71 troy ounces. They were six bucks. There was a uh, they're all monogrammed with a D, two different styles, and they were three bucks for these and three bucks for those. And the scrap on them is around 125 today. So that more than doubled what we paid for everything. And this student quality um, flute is going to get me about $50, and that cost five bucks. Somebody just didn't want any more and so that was a good buy. And then I got these cool old early 1900s wood shaft, hickory shaft golf clubs. They were a, they were a dollar each and believe it or not some go for a lot of money but these particular ones aren't really big money. They're gonna get me maybe five or ten dollars a piece so And then these are two older pieces of Fenton. And they were three bucks for the pair. There's a duck and an owl. And I run stuff like that through a local auction and they do pretty good. They should bring at least 10 or $15 a piece. And then uh, coming over here was kind of neat. The lady had $4 on these old, she had old marbles, $4. And she was an older woman and I kind of looked them over pretty good and they are older. Um, there's a lot of cat's eyes in there, which really don't have a lot of value. But there were some nice acro agate, earlier acro agate marbles, including a Superman one, which that alone ought to bring me about 25 or 30 bucks. So I'm figuring this little lot's going to fetch me 50 or $60. And I did tog her down to $2.50 on that. So, And then coming over here, these kind of plain looking... 1950s era cocktail shakers are pretty good. That was 75 cents, and I just found one on eBay that sold for 40 bucks. So that was a nice surprise. I didn't really expect that I was going to get four, possibly get $40 for that. And then uh, over here is a. I miscounted the stars because I was in a hurry. I thought it was a 48 star flag, and it was $10. And uh, it ended up it's a 50 star flag and it's probably still worth ten dollars not a lot of money but this is kind of unique they call this my girlfriend bought this for five bucks it's called a topsy-turvy doll and a lady had it when she was a kid back in the 40s and um, one side is a little black lady black doll and then you flip it over and it's a white girl doll and it's kind of neat that was five bucks and she told me uh, that these go for around 40 or 50 so that was kind of neat and then coming over here is uh, a 1950s 60s era painting it's an original painting signed vanguard and that was five bucks. It's a large wall hanger. 
and it's also got an original label, hand painted label on the back. And after a little research on these, um, I found I could probably at a show maybe ask about around $150 for it. So that was kind of a nice find. And then uh, we got some odds and ends here. A piece of Chinese cloisonne for $1.50 and some hand wrought aluminum. And then uh, got some little two gold wash 925 earrings and a little pile of sterling. And uh, a little vintage cat pen. And then that little butterfly pen my girlfriend researched. It's a modern pen. But all this stuff here was $1.60 for everything. But this pen alone, um, she told me, is going to bring her somewhere between $50 and $80. So that was a good buy. And then we got all that silver for scrap. And uh, she figures about 20 on the cat. So not bad. And then coming over here is a 1940s era Franciscan, California Franciscan sugar bowl and that is called the metropolitan metropolitan style sugar bowl and they're pretty rare that style usually you come across a lot of the desert rose which is quite popular but you don't find that too much and i figure i'm going to get around 40 for that and then i got this little um, pottery jug an older piece not real old probably 1930s or 40s that was a dollar and I might be able to get around 15 or 20 for that. So, anyway, this is what we got Friday, June 1st, 2012. Not a bad haul. Like I said, we spent $57 and we should do around 700 So, I'm not going to complain. It was a good, good day for a couple hours worth of work. And uh, good luck to all you hunters out there. And if the weather cooperates next week, I'll do another video. Take care.